Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we will be discussing about the Amazon six months SD intern interview experience, and we have with us my young single who has been uh, who has previously interned at LinkedIn, and he is an upcoming Amazon SD intern in twenty twenty five. So uh, he'll be sharing his insights uh, right from you know the whole selection process, the interview rounds, and everything. So uh, I welcome you, my young, to next techies. Uh, could we start with a short introduction from you? Sure. Thanks, Shreya. Uh, hi everyone. Myself, Mayank, and I am pursuing my bachelor's from Delhi Technological University. And as she had told, I have interned at LinkedIn in the summers of twenty twenty four, and I am an upcoming six month intern at Amazon as SD. Okay. That's a bit. Yeah, cool. So uh, let's quickly dive in. Uh, now, uh, could you tell us more about the SD intern role that Amazon is hiring for? Uh, yeah, so uh, the SD intern role is for uh, students in bachelor's or masters uh, who are uh, pursuing degree in computer related or science fields, and also circuital and uh, engineering physics branches. So anyone who has like a uh, knack for programming and who has knowledge of languages like Java and C plus plus or Python can apply. In that. Okay, so. Uh... Now, like, was it an off-campus opportunity for you, or it was an on-campus opportunity? Ah, uh, so for me, it was on campus. Okay. Like, so, do do you have any idea if it differs, मतलब for on-campus and off-campus, is it different or it's the same process? So the process is uh, uh, quite same for both on-campus and off-campus. Off-campus, it's more like uh, the hiring manager or HR uh, reaches out to you, and then you give the hmm. uh, like OA and interviews. In on campus, it's quite straightforward that you fill the form and you get the test link. Okay, uh, so like, what is the flow of the selection process for this uh, six months in turn? Uh, so first of all, like uh, whoever fills the form uh, gets a, a test link. So first we have an online assessment and then we have the uh, one interview round, which is technical. Okay, so there's only one coding round. Uh, y- yes. Round. only one uh, online assessment is also one which is uh, divided into two sections one is okay. technical and uh, the second is more like behavioral uh, and then we have an interview round which is technical okay and how competitive was the whole process because like a large number of people will be applying for amazon yes so, so like that? the process is really quite uh, competitive as you know the the number of applications is nowhere near the number of seats <laughs> yeah that is true. and in the clearing the online assessment is uh, really a big task because we have to do the number of questions in a limited number of time and that too we need to think fast because hmm. if, even if we are given let's say 60 minutes we need to complete it in under 30, 30 minutes, minutes so that we are ahead of the mass group okay. so it's quite um, competitive okay so uh, i'm sure a resume has to be submitted for amazon so how did you tailor your resume according to amazon's expectations and also like according to you what does amazon look into a candidate's resume when they hire a... so uh, like i'll answer the second question first but uh, like what amazon looks into a resume so uh, they might already be having ats scorers of the, for their systems and so uh, we go through the jd of amazon which is job description and find some skills which are uh, known to us so i kind of tend to highlight those skills and also if there is any skill which i don't have uh, mm-hmm. in my resume right now but maybe i know the basics and i'm not quite confident enough uh, so i just go through the basics of uh, that skill again mm-hmm. and when i have a hand over it i just add it in my resume so that i get an advantage that i have uh, more relate i am my resume is more related to the job description hmm. so this is one thing which i uh, try to improve and i try to personalize uh, my resume according to the company i am applying to okay so like basically so, you know like from yeah. the jd you take out those skills and then if you have them you put yes. it in your resume so it's more aligned yes, yes. to amazon in this case Right. Yes. And uh, any tips or tricks you know to avoid mistakes in resume? Uh so like avoiding mistakes in resume is first of all like you can already uh, just format the resume in a better way and avoid using uh, just lump of paragraphs try using bullet points and also use numbers and metrics so that it uh, 
shows an impactful work also mm-hmm. don't uh, put on some uh, fake projects and all uh-huh. as it can really be held in an interview and uh, try to make the resume a bit more interesting and uh, showing the skills that matter yeah that can be okay now uh, m- like moving on to the dsa prep part so how did you prepare for like the oa round and then the whole process like what platforms did you use or resources did you use and you would recommend the viewers to use uh, so for preparing for oa i uh, usually used to do lead code hard level questions and code forces so that uh, i can improve my speed and efficiency and uh, what i can suggest is uh, just keep on doing lead code medium to hard level questions so that you can clear oa and you can also move to competitive coding platforms such as code forces or code chef so uh, mainly i used uh, the other two platforms lead code and code chef code forces so like what kind of like what is the level of questions we can expect in the oa like is it only hard questions or uh, uh, medium no. level in also? oa we uh, amazon gave medium level questions in oa there were no hard level questions though we cannot like expect uh, medium questions every time we mm-hmm. also need to work on hard level so that uh, and also we need to do a number of questions so that uh, our speed gets improved yeah because i think they have a very limited time and then you have to do all those questions yes. they have a standard question of rotten oranges <laughs> they keep asking that <laughs> yes <laughs> they ask that in exactly. interview also in oa also but uh, i mean that's right you need to practice on some platform and i think like mayank mentioned lead code code for code forces is like for a very high level practice i would say start with lead code if you haven't you know like properly done your dsa i would say but then we can move on move on to code forces and i think code chef also right yes and also like uh, there are p set of some questions previous year questions uh, which you can uh, find online you can just type on google previous year oa questions of amazon and then you can just go through all those questions uh, so that if there is a pattern you get to know it and you are able to uh, do more number of questions okay so like is there any particular data structure that you felt like they frequently ask Uh, so i got to know that uh, amazon has heap questions a lot okay. though it did not come out uh, correct for me uh, but yes i got, like uh, from the past 3 4 years uh, okay. amazon was sticking to heap okay and uh, this year it was uh, like a binary tree for me okay the topic i think like last to last year they were stuck with graphs i feel Yeah. it was everything related to graphs now but like you mentioned heaps trees so like make yeah. sure you do graphs trees heaps all these topics yes. very like but particularly just focus on these topics now uh, i was going through, through your uh, linkedin profile and uh, you mentioned like you have this uh, night position on link, uh, lead code so like, can you explain yes. about this like what is this uh, so uh, the night is like uh, a badge given to the coders on lead code platform when you regularly give contest uh, you get some uh, rankings so when your rating reaches in the top 5% of the coders on the lead code platform you get the night badge okay. so uh, even that is one more advice if i could say uh, that uh, we can also do contests on lead code it helps us in giving a, a glimpse of how oa is and we can get to know about how we how we how the type of questions we can face like basically time management and then yes. source of motivation batches are source yes. of motivation we can say yes right so uh, like you mentioned there were only uh, one interview round right that was technical yes. so there was no hr round followed by that uh, no uh, there was only one technical round and uh, in the uh, oa only we had maybe like we had two sections first was technical and uh, then we had nearly 100 mcq questions related to behavior okay but that was not time bounded so it was okay so like okay. the oa has oa has two parts for like first is the technical coding part and yes. then we have behavioral questions that is approximately yes. 100 okay but th- that is not time bound only the yes. coding part is time bound coding so, part is time yeah so like does amazon ask cp questions in their interviews uh, no in the interview we are uh, asked state uh, dsa questions 
Mm-hmm. And also in interviews, we are uh, not given any complex questions. We are given straightforward uh, questions which use only one data structure. Okay. Like there is a no mixture. Like okay. we have yeah, graph like also my... and tree also. Okay. It's only focused on one data structure. Yes, okay. and also medium level, uh, easy to medium level questions. Okay, okay. And how many number of questions approximately? So I was asked two questions, and um, even. And most of the students who got selected were asked two questions only. Okay. Now, uh, so we have this special segment called strategizing prep, where uh, like if you could share some strategies or you know like any kind of preparation schedule that you followed and that helped you crack this opportunity. So, all the viewers who are aiming for this uh, Amazon SD six months in turn, so they can also you know use. those strategies uh, i i'll say just uh, you can start with uh, uh, a sheet a dsa sheet like we have striver sheet or mm-hmm. there are many more sheets available and uh, when you go through that sheet try to also mark the questions which you are not able to solve yourself mm-hmm. and then go through those questions again and also uh, when you are done with sheet you can uh, try doing questions randomly so that you don't know which data structure you are going to use so that uh, it helps in building intuition also okay cool and uh, like if you could elaborate on how much time did you like how did you plan your dss schedule and how much time did you allocate for one particular data structure so uh, like uh, consistency plays a great role in uh, uh, dsa and learning anything so uh, you should at least give maybe two three questions daily and uh, over the time maybe in 6 months or 12 months you will be able to complete uh, dsa at a good level that is true yeah and uh, uh, so like uh, and time for different data structures uh, uh, let's say we are on array it might not require uh, much time hmm. let's say it will just take one week to cover till sorting but if we are on graphs there are many algorithms which might need more and more time so uh, we just need to uh, uh, complete things on our own pace and try to just not uh, crap up things and like uh, we need to understand the basics and then complete till we know in deep okay so like what you are basically saying is that according to the data structure you can divide your time seeing the topics or the content that is there in that data structure yes. like like i because i know many people who get stuck at linked list they because linked list is the easiest topic you can actually do in data structures and then they yes. don't move ahead because they find it very easy and then they keep on practicing so what you can do is according to the content you can divide how much time do you want to give so you can complete the whole data structure there yes right. So before we wrap up, do you have any advice for all our viewers who are aiming to crack the Amazon SD six months in turn? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll say try to be consistent while solving the problems. Try to solve at least three four questions a day, and also while you uh, give interviews for Amazon, try to go through the principle of Amazon. There are nearly fourteen principles, and uh, just go through them. And uh, when they are asking any behavioral type of questions. you can frame your answers uh, around those principles so that uh, they also get to know that you are curious and know about more know more about the company so that can help you give an advantage and also uh, in the interviews uh, when they uh, ask to uh, ask the solution for a question try to uh, tell them all the possibilities uh, which are there like there are there might be two solutions and then you can quote the optimized solution and go through the time complexities and space complexities also so that uh, tells that you have a uh, deep deep knowledge about data structures okay like the principles that you mentioned they are the uh, like the 14 company principles or any kind of coding principles uh, no uh, those are company specific principles okay so like uh, applicant can use those principles while framing their answers okay yes okay Thank you so much Mayank for joining in today and sharing your valuable insights. I am sure viewers will find this very helpful and uh, they will be inspired by your journey and uh, I really hope they crack Amazon SD in turn 6 months role as well. Now uh, like if you guys have any question you can drop them in the comment section and also you can uh, connect with Mayank. Uh, I have mentioned his uh, LinkedIn ID in the description so you can connect with uh, him. 
uh, till then uh, anything you want to say uh, just keep coding guys and believe in yourself